Execution is always being done in a couple of logical steps. Main steps are stabilization, creating space, and freeing the victim. So first of all comes stabilization. This is to prevent any unwanted movement in the car that might cause the victim additional injury. Now realize that any movement of the spine cord could be a huge consequence. Stabilization can be done by cribbing or shoring. And these cribbing blocks, they can be used. And especially this rapid stair is very quick and simple because it can be adjusted to any height. When higher objects need to be stabilized, you can use Provix Max. Provix Max is an amazing 14 ton shoring device which locks anywhere at its stroke. You can use it for stabilization, shoring, trench, and it's the best of its kind in lift support, especially with the remote control. Next, we try to access the victim, and we will create the required space to free the victim. There are many products to help you to create space. Here we have a cutter, a spreader and a combi tool. Now all these hydraulic tools will give you the power and control you need. And they have all been designed according to EWO and ABD. This makes them easy to handle, carry, position and control. Let's start with this X4 spreader. A medium class spreader with already 4 tons of spreading force. Door coming. Creating space can also be done by cutters. And according to ABD we have two types of cutters. Here we have a G-series with a straight blade and here we have a GW-series with a curved blade. Let me show you what this tool is capable of. This G6W is a heavy class ABD cutter with 110 tons cutting capacity. It is totally optimized for cutting heavy posts with its good reach and incredible force. Have you noticed how the W blade pull all the material inwards? This is the G6. It has a cutting capacity of 127 tons. And it has an advanced blade design, which gives us a powerful, though controlled cut. Have you noticed how the G-blades cut millimeter by millimeter? Exactly this is what rescue is all about. Control. Knowing what can or is going to happen. Knowing the capabilities of your equipment. Which equipment to use for what. And knowing how to use it. 